So yeah, next episode, go! We're actually gonna be continuing with the story and not continue with this fetch quest, which we're gonna do at some point. We probably haven't unlocked all the places uh, for the quest anyway. So... Let's go! Uh... Fucking... It's too bad that wasn't the real I freed. But I'm glad everyone on the ship is feeling better. Yeah. Though it sounds like they never want to touch that Salatoma stuff ever again. <laughs> what about Eleanor? She took it too. And her face went all... Wah! I don't mean how she looked. I mean how she actually feels. Oh. Well, she looks like she feels better too. Good. You're worried about her, aren't you, Velvet? No, it's nothing like that. Let me tell you something, kiddo. When young maidens ripen, they have trouble expressing their feelings. So Velvet's... ripen? Mogilu, quit giving Loppy set confusing thoughts. <laughs> no trouble expressing those feelings, I see. is supposed to exist to bring peace and order to the world. Everything the Abbey does, everything Lord Melchior and Shepherd Artorius do, it ought to be rooted in that mission. And yet, something just doesn't feel right here. You are dismissed. That knowledge is not for you. Uh, uh... Something wrong? Whoa! Easy there. Just asking. S sorry I was just deep in thought. Is there something you need from me? Nah. Just heard a bunch of sighs and wondered if you were feeling sick or anything. No, I drank my Salatoma juice. Ah. Tasted like crap, didn't it? It... it wasn't that bad. Hey. What? Are you afraid of demons? No, I, I am not. It's more like I despise them. Ten years ago, a group of them attacked my village. They destroyed everything. And everyone. Including your family? Yes. The only family I had at that point was my mother. And in all the chaos, she... All I have left of her is this hand mirror she gave me. I didn't want anyone else to have to feel the way I did. And so, I became an exorcist in order to destroy demons. So you can keep your pity. Gotcha. I will then. Ah. I'm telling you, she she's realizing she, she, they're in the right. She's really in denial, though. What is that? That's called a pangyon, a type of bird native to this area. Pangyon. Their meat is succulent and tender, and makes a lovely stew. Wow, what's it taste like? You'd eat that poor thing? Savage. You're one to talk, demon. It was one of my mother's specialties. Alright, enough of the chit-chat. Magilu, what's this grimoire friend of yours like? Put it. <sighs> oh. 
You know, like that. Like what? Oh, well, to put it in a way those of meager imagination can understand, Grimm's got a sort of listless, aristocratic air about her. A noblewoman in her twilight, you could say. Huh. So you mean, like, a woman, but different from Velvet and Eleanor. <laughs> You're not wrong there. I tell you what, just keep an eye out for a grown woman. A uh, grown woman? Okay, I got it. Well, since we got her name, we could start by asking around. Exactly. Now you're talking. <sighs> What's up, kiddo? Moggy Lou, you're a grown woman yourself. So why is it you have trouble clearly expressing your real feelings? Good question. Put simply, a long time ago, mine broke. Bagow! Chapoom! Bye bye! Your feelings broke? Come on. Let's question the townsfolk. Oh, I, I did not pay much thought for it, but... Magilu is ought to have a fucking pro probably really deep story behind her. Nothing here. Also, I love the relationship developing between Velvet and Eleanor. That's fucking. Oh, these mini games again. Can you not like? Are, are these gonna be in every port now? I mean, it would make sense. This place has nice music. Nice music. Uh, well, there's no reason to play this right now. What's what we got down here? Uh, a bunch of souls. <clears throat> Some random herring uh, ingredients. Then, <clears throat> sorry, sorry, my throat. What? Oh, uh, you shitting me? I mean, fine. <clears throat> Fuck! What is wrong with my throat? This is fuck. Oh, a red herb. That means I'm like halfway, two thirds. Oh, there's an inn thing going on there. Not an inn. Um, a tavern. This place is looks nice. It's pretty fucking unique. I'm I'm lo I'm digging it. That's pretty awesome. Gotta say, is is this a uh, chapel, church? Yep. Mm, something here. Yeah. Come, sinner, and repent your wicked deeds. Are you talking to me, perchance? I am. You look so deeply sinful, I wouldn't even know where to begin. Now confess! Oh, how long have I waited to bear my soul to someone? But I've always lacked the courage. Praise be to the Empyreans who have bestowed upon me this chance today! Ah, your devotion to the Empyreans is most... No! It is you who has captured my devotion, my darling! There's no one else I want but you! What? M me? But uh, my life is in service to the Empyreans. I... Hush. I want you to look at me the way I look at you. Hold me, darling. Smother me in your embrace. Uh, I don't... I... I... Those were the kind of lines I read in a romance novel. It wasn't even that exciting a book. I wasted so many hours with that piece of trash. Please forgive me for not putting myself to better use. Ah! Lying. To a priest! How could you? Oh no, I meant to confess my sins, but instead my confession was another sin! Forgive me, Father, I've transgressed once more. I don't want to forgive you! <laughs> I love Magilu so much. So fucking much. Okay, you got another one? Another one, really? Who? Me? I don't think I've done much that needs repenting. No, my son. 
You must be mistaken, for I can tell just from how you dress that a great many sins weigh heavily upon your heart. But it's not too late for you yet. You must confess your sins and repent. Yeah, I hear you, but I really can't think of anything. Have you ever wielded violence? No. All I wield are my swords. Well, have you hurt anybody with your swords? Yeah, but I haven't been able to land a killing blow yet. I've still got a long way to go. But the next time, I'll kill him. No, no, you have it all wrong. You must repent for how you've used your swords. Oh, I get it. I need to improve my cutting technique, right? That's not what I meant either. Ah, then what do you mean? It's a priest's job to guide the layman, right? You'll have to start speaking more clearly if you want anyone to trust your advice. Get your act together, man. Y yes I'll reflect upon the error of my ways. Wait, what? <laughs> Rakura. Are you fucking shitting me? Okay. Um. Oh man, this game keeps surprising me. It's a fucking emotional roller coaster. One moment you fucking almost cry, and the next you're just laughing. I love it. I fucking love it. Okay. Let's try to find our thing there. And this place is pretty fucking it's awesome. Common practice to use South Gan lumber for shipbuilding, but there's a reason. Our trees really are the best for it. Natan trees only grow in South Gan. Their wood is light, tough, and doesn't rot. Perfect for shipbuilding. You know your stuff. Long ago, before people knew how to build seafaring vessels. Nidgan and Southgan were separate countries. Then our ancestors fashioned rafts out of Natan logs and floated all the way to Midgan. A Midgan craftsman, amazed to see a humble raft cross the open sea, returned with our ancestors here to Southgan. He had used the Natan logs to build a large, sturdy ship. Thanks to him, commerce took off between Midgan and Southgan, and the age of exploration began. The excitement of a new age had everyone floating on air, but within mere decades, Midgan declared war on Southgan. Ironically enough, it was ships made from trees from their islands that enemies used to invade them. The fighting continued for a long time, but in the end, Midgand emerged the victor. Our islands were occupied. As hard as things were, our ancestors still liked to joke about it. They'd say, Age of Exploration, more like Age of Exploitation. <laughs> when things were that bad, they could still joke about it? Selfganders have always been a cheerful bunch. We tend to look for the silver lining in every cloud. It may not seem like it these days, but... Southgan used to be a place where the laughter would never cease. Some people even used to call it Shenanigand. Shenanigand? This must have been a really fun place. <laughs> Shenanigand. Okay, uh, Laffy clearly knows his shit. Abandon. Just abandon everything. I don't need no shit from you. Uh, is there a way up there? No. Oh, another one of these. As if I don't have enough. Oh my god. I'll just collect some off screen maybe. For now. Let's go to the inn and see what's over there. And after which. Actually, let's end this right here. Forget to subscribe. Thank you for watching, and see you on the next episode.